Meteorologist Paul Goodlow is live this morning in Miami. And Paul, we know that the greatest threat of life comes from water, not the wind of the storm. So surge is a huge issue and a big killer in these storms. Exactly. Again, people think about the, how, how strong is it, but what about the storm surge? Think about Katrina. We think about the, the flooding in New Orleans, but what about the surge on the Mississippi coast? I want to bring in Cody Fritz, the storm uh, surge specialist here at the National Hurricane Center. And again, storm surge, the biggest really threat to property and life widespread. And is, is, we'll talk about the messaging of that. How do we get that out to people when we have impending threats like perhaps this season, the very active season forecasted? Right. I mean, when you think about storm surge, it's really the most damaging or the most hazardous part of the hurricane. Really, you can have the most loss of life in a single day from storm surge alone. And so we really try to promote and communicate what the impact of storm surge is more effectively. We have many tools that we've developed over the last years to not just illustrate where that storm surge is, how high it is going to be, but also communication tools like the storm surge warning to really enhance that response to the public to kind of get them to move away from the coast. And we try to use, use that, we use fancy, fancy graphics in the studio, but what about this pole behind you? It's kind of a, a thing that people can see visually to kind of talk about how uh, high and how impacting storm surge is. Yeah, exactly. So this pole is meant to represent the true height. So when we color code, we provide that inundation graphic or that map that kind of color codes the height of storm surge. We're really trying to say, if we say three, six, nine feet, this is six feet, orange is nine feet above that red is more than nine feet. So we're actually talking about what the storm surge height is above ground level. And this represents what the true height of storm surge can be at the coast. And does that factor in perhaps the wave action on top of the surge? Yeah, we can also account for the waves as well in those storm surge forecasts. Um, so yes, when we talk about the actual how high the water can be, we can account for some of that wave action as well. And people think, oh, you know, a, one, a three foot surge, you know, that, that's like you know, just walking in the ocean. But the power of water is almost exponential when you start uh, increasing it. Exactly. When you talk about the movement of water, it's much more powerful than, than wind alone, right? So water can move cars, it can destroy buildings. Obviously life threatening when it comes to people who live along the coast. Well, again, and we're talking about when it's certain height, like I say six feet, or if I say seven feet, we're talking about above ground. Most people don't even stand six feet tall. I mean, you're obviously very tall. <laughs> But beyond that, most people aren't very, uh, six feet tall. So when we say six, seven feet, we're talking about above your head in most cases. And we're talking about, say, things like Hurricane Ian. That storm surge was, what, 15, 15 17 feet? 15 feet along the Fort Myers Beach coastline. Yeah, so 15 feet at the coast. Imagine, that's, a, that's above this pole height. And that pretty much encountered and, and was responsible for the majority of the damage. Yeah, it just complete destruction along Fort Myers Beach. Um, a lot of that was due uh, to the water. Um, certainly with 15 feet, um, you damaged a lot of homes, moved a lot of cars. Um, we lost several people in that event as well. So it surely shows you just how powerful Storm Church can be. Okay, Cody Fritz, National Hurricane Center. Thank you so much for your time here. Again, Storm Storm Specialist here. And that's the thing with, with the Hurricane Center is we're hours away from this next season. It's six months long, but they're trying to work on messaging with the change of the cone, additions to the cone, and even storm surge poles to get that messaging out to you and your family to stay safe. Hopefully it's a quiet season, but the forecast uh, is uh, completely opposite than that.